Originally, I wanted to abstain from talking about the whole Chris Chan situation because I felt I had nothing meaningful to add to the conversation. The whole YouTube community already talked about it, and really, what more could you say about a person who raped their elderly mother, who is riddled with dementia, aside from this person is a disgusting fuck and a deplorable human being? Well, clearly now I do have more to say about the topic, because for the past week or so, debate has been heating up over whether or not to respect Chris Chan's pronouns, because Chris Chan is a trans woman. And when I say Chris, I mean short for Christine, which is her real name, so I'm not dead naming her. I've seen reasonings for misgendering her range from, well, she's only pretending to be trans so she could shack up with lesbians, to she suffers from severe delusions, so why should we trust her when she says she's a woman? And even to, she's a disgusting, deplorable piece of shit, why should I respect her pronouns? I'm gonna be honest, any reason you throw at me is not really gonna matter, because she has been gender dysphoric since at least 2011, 10 years now, she's received HRT, she kinda sounds like someone who is actually trans. Anyone who is quote-unquote pretending to be trans wouldn't do all this and be this committed. And I really hate to play any sort of defense for her because she is truly a trash can of a human being, but when you intertwine one's identity with the crimes they have committed, that's when I start to have a problem. It feeds into the stigma that trans people are predators. They only transition to the opposite gender they were assigned at birth because they want to prey on others. I'm really tired of this discourse that occurs every time a trans person does something disgusting that makes round in the news. Yes, this trans person is a horrible person. What they did was absolutely terrible, but what the fuck does them being trans have to do with what they did? Referring to them by their proper pronouns is by no means an endorsement of the crimes they have committed. You can still condemn a trans person, but still acknowledge that their identity is valid because no trans person has to abide by a certain moral code in order to be referred to by their preferred pronouns. I've always found the sentiment that a trans person's identity does not have to be respected if they do something disgusting to be pretty silly because we never never do this shit with cis people, like say if a cis guy drowns kittens, we don't say, oh look at this woman, she drowned some kittens in a lake because that would just be fucking ridiculous. Or better yet, let's say everything about this Chris Chan story remains the same, but the only thing different is Chris Chan is a cis guy. In that instance, would you be going out of your way to misgender her if she were a cis guy raping her mother? Probably not, because you would think that would be fucking stupid. It's just transphobia, plain and simple. If one has to meet a certain set of conditions in order for you to respect their identity, you don't actually support trans people. Because I see a lot of people who ascribe to this line of thinking say shit like, well, I support the trans community, but if a trans person is, say, a rapist or anything horrible of the sort, I don't have to respect their identity. Why? Why the fuck not? Because their identity has dick all to do with what they did. These kinds of people are just transphobes afraid to admit that they were transphobic. They will be transphobic when the perfect opportunity arises, like, say, a trans person like Chris Chan does something awful that makes rounds. That that's when they'll completely abandon their supposed support for the trans community and go straight into the misgendering and dead naming. I really wish that we, as a society, can collectively acknowledge that one can be trans and still be a horrible human being and that their identity is still valid. Unsurprisingly, the right wing has lunged onto this story. I mean, fuck, we've seen Tucker Carlson cover the Chris Chan story. And now we are seeing the right use this story to prop up transphobic rhetoric. Shit like this is like Christmas to the right wing, because it only helps prop up the stupid narrative that trans people are predators, and that's another reason why I just fucking hate stories like this. When a trans person commits a heinous crime, we seem to never focus on just the crime itself, but we have to tie in their identity as something that is somehow pertinent to the crime they committed, and then we have a stupid back and forth that completely clouds the crime they committed. I just wish it would fucking end, but transphobes will always lunge onto stories like this to justify their transphobia and to smear a much larger community comprised of people nothing like this, and I'm just so fucking tired of it. So all in all, Chris Chan is a disgusting human being who can rot in hell for all I care, but I'm still going to respect her pronouns. I'm sure this video won't go over so well if people within the Chris Chan community find this video because... 
from what I've noticed, the people who have been stalking Chris Chan for the past 15 years or so are not really the most progressive people out there. We'll just leave it at that, but whatever. I'm very used to getting scrutiny for my opinions at this point. But speaking of that, what the fuck are these people gonna do now that Chris Chen is facing card time in prison? Are they gonna move on with their lives finally, or just move on to some other lull cow they can stalk for the next 20 years or so? Probably the latter, I'd imagine. This is one of those stories that has no heroes in it. Yes, Chris Chan is human filth, whom I feel no sympathy towards, but at the same time, what does it really say about online culture when you have a pretty substantial amount of people dedicating a good chunk of their lives to fixating on some weirdo rapist on the internet? You know what, I'll let you folks at home decide that one. <laughs> anyway, that's all I have to say. Bye bye